In tonight's battle, four previous Keys losers return for an elimination tournament at Zubar. Only the winner of round one and the winner of round two will advance to the third for a chance at redemption. The prize, a spring break party vacation to Daytona Beach, Florida, courtesy of Breakaway Tours, a keys to the VIP Champions Ring, courtesy of Titanium Era, and an epic VIP event for the champion and his closest friends at Government Nightclub. Let's take a closer look look at tonight's matchups. In round one, EL the closer takes on Anthony the boy wonder. Anthony's back, baby. What's up, guys? It's EL the closer, and he's back. Who's got the keys, baby? And he's back to can close. My first appearance on keys was pretty good, but it didn't capture the essence of EL the closer. I lost on making girl laugh. He chooses the one with the biggest chest. He like, can close all right. Yeah. <laughs> he he can close up all the options he has in the bar. Because honestly, I, could, I can make anybody laugh. Like, how hard could it be? Well, there was this, uh, this girl that was big cock block. It was unfortunate. She came back and she just, she lost it on me. So let's hope that uh, that isn't around tonight. I am here to win. I'm going to win tonight. And nothing is stopping me. Peaches is a bastard. In this game, second place is last place. <laughs> That's hard. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Yeah, you come out here. I'm going to challenge you, Peaches. Fuzzy, good-looking stud muffin, you. I want to come back because I'm not a failure. I'm not a loser. I'm here to win. Hey, all the closer. He's cute. You know, if you're into that sort of um, feminine-looking type guy, he's got good eyebrows. Antonio, listen to me. You really picked the wrong time to come back. You want redemption? You ain't getting redemption. You're getting a second loss. That's what you're getting. Hey, Al, give my mom back her vest and her beads. Give my sister back that hat, and maybe let's dance in the ring together, baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Our first guy, Anthony, he earned the nickname Maroon 5 out of 10 last, <laughs> at, his, at his last appearance. And AL, the one thing we learned about him is there's one letter difference between the closer and the loser. <laughs> and so these guys are getting a second chance tonight. Sheldon, how do you see it playing out? Both guys here look really strong, but you know what? Anthony looks like he's making a lot of jokes. He's not taking this seriously, whereas AL, the closer, realized that he needs redemption, and he's going to take this very seriously. Peaches, I can tell you're already ready to go off the rails on this one. I'll let you go do it. I'll say this. <laughs> Anthony, good job. You called me out. That tells me that you're serious. But guess what? They call you the boy wonder. Just remember one thing. I'm the Batman. Let's see what the guy does today. <laughs> you know what's great about these guys is, you know, they've learned. Anthony's not singing, and AL decided to ditch the shark tooth. Yeah. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And I kind of like AL a little bit better here because he seems to be taking it seriously. This is going to be a good time. And the name of this first game is Redemption. What we're going to do is we're going to let these guys really go back in time. And we're going to give them a second shot at the game that sank them. Yeah. Peaches, who's up first? We got AL the closer. All right, let's check him out. Coming up after the break. I want to see your phone for one sec. Why my phone? It's pink too. I want to see it. Give me your phone for one sec. Oh, no, no he's not going to do the cell do phone it. trick. All right, guys, it's a redemption game. AL versus Anthony, round one. Let's check out AL. In round one, each player must complete the challenge that caused his original loss. Time for redemption, boys. Look at you guys standing in the corner like it's fourth grade detention. Guys, come on, what is this? No, it's like eighth grade dance. Girls on one side, boys on the other. Honestly, come on, you're making love to this plan right here. If I didn't know any better, you have a, a plan fetish right there. I do, and a foot fetish. Uh-huh, all right then. Is that his first time smoking a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with that? Okay. Let's say a guy was walking around with a pink cell phone. That'd well, be a little weird. You think it's weird? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have a pink cell phone, it's a loner. Hot pink's my favorite color. Really? Yeah, you know how we can make it less gay? How? You can make it less gay by adding your phone number in there. <laughs> <laughs> he made her laugh by asking for her number. <laughs> no, I think I'm good. I got my hot girl for the night, so. Let's, give me your phone for one sec. I want to see your phone for one sec. Why my phone? It's pink too. I want to see it. Give me your phone for one sec. No, oh, no, no, he's not going to do the cell phone it. trick. Yeah. Dial this number. Dial it. All right, there's the vibrate. And it was really nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you, you too. Adorable. Oh, no. 
happened there? Go back. That was the closer. That was his big moment at redemption. We saw what happened. What are your thoughts on this game? He was able to make the women laugh. He brought some funny things. He dressed funny. He looked funny. His game was funny. And therefore, he was successful. <laughs> you know what? That, that, that was quite the spin. I'm dizzy right now. Yeah. When AL first came to us, he was all business. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like he had a funny bone in his body. Now, I like to see him loosen up. And the fact that he's touching the girls, he's having a great time, making them laugh, he's, he's doing well here. You know what? I stand by my statement. Yeah. Slamming closed all the options in the bar. <laughs> Let's take a look at Anthony. I think he's got a real chance. Let's check yeah. him out. I just got to suck her down the throat. Can you suck on that? I don't even know what that means. Every fisherman needs his bait, yeah. and women love candy. <laughs> I'll tell you right. You know what? In that case, I've got two more. Who wants one? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's do a process of elimination here. Whoever has the worst breath has to get the sucker. I have the worst breath. Look at me smoke. Let me smell. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, God. That is horrible. Yeah. Open it. Quick, quick. Gum? Would you like gum as well? No. Sorry, um, girl who shoved stick down my throat, I'm Anthony. That's all right. I think you're absolutely a wicked time. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but but don't don't get it twisted. You had bad breath when we first when we first spoke. So you saved me with a sucker. I saved you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Okay. Too soon. Maybe. Yeah. Too yeah. soon, Alita. Yeah. Too soon. <laughs> I think this pickup's sweet now and maybe bitter later. Oh. Boy. <laughs> oh. You're gonna have to do it for me. I suck at this. You're gonna have to put your number in. And maybe I'll call you in a week or two. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, man. <laughs> That's fantastic uh, stuff. I feel proud for him. Who won that round? AL is trained. He's found a way to make girls laugh, but he has, he has no idea how to actually pick up people. You know, AL came out, he was confident, he was serious, and he met the objective, but there was no attraction there whatsoever. Whereas Anthony, he came with a prop, he used it well, and I mean, it's a good thing for him that her parents didn't teach her not to take candy from a stranger. So, <laughs> well done, Anthony. Yeah. Boy Wonder, I'm gonna give you the keys to the Batmobile for the weekend. You earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope that aliens don't come from outer space beam AL up and figure that that guy's a representation of the male species because that's going to be a problem for all of us. Obviously, Anthony's going to the third round. Our next matchup is Rated R Rago versus Mara Sparks. Let's have a look. Coming up after the break. Well, I bet him 100 bucks that he couldn't come talk to some girls and he said he'd find the easiest ones to talk to. So I just said... Like... Oh. All right, guys, that was our round one matchup. Let's take a look at a round two matchup. In round two, Mark Sparks takes on Justin Rated R Rigo. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mark Sparks. There was the dream team. I'm the redeemed team. Hey, guys, this is Justin Rated R Rigo making his comeback for redemption. How did I feel about the panel's comments uh, on my last show? You know what? I'm not going to blame them for what I didn't give. I love the fact that Sparks is a gentleman, but I think that was to his detriment. I'm an athlete, came up as an athlete, and the one thing a coach always taught me was it's not the referee's fault that you didn't win the game. Well, the reason why I want to come back and do this is that I got to take back my title. I'm rated R Rego for a reason. I think that name says it in of itself, right? Like, I wouldn't be too worried if I was going up against a G or PG-13. Sparks, he's an interesting character. The one thing he's lacking is the most important thing in the game. Can't close, period. You don't know what to expect from Mark Sparks, so I want to make sure you know what's going on here. There'll be no mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact, no kissing, no drink sharing, no tongue stuff. You're going one-on-one, face-to-face, man-to-man -to -man with the one they call Justin Rated R Rago. And I'm not going to be like those other guys who come out here and just show off their bodies and try to be out here and use other things that they have to get girls, so. This is about to get R-rated. I'm Mark Sparks. We'll see you guys on the floor. <laughs> All right, guys. Wow. This is good. I love that. This is one of the best shows I think we've yeah. put together. I'm so excited. This is kind of ironic that Rated R Rago called out Sparks on his ability to close, when meanwhile, he had something gift wrapped in the last episode, and he walked away. So I don't quite get that. The one thing about Mark Sparks, he's the personification of a man. Uh, Rated R, there's a lot of holes in, in, in his game that I remember, but the one thing you'll always be sure about Mark Sparks, he'll always be a man going in and a man coming out. And my, my pick tonight is Mark Sparks. Yeah, I mean, this is tough. I like both these guys because they're both nice guys yeah they're both athletic and they're just good guys down to the core but it seems to me that Rita Arrego has a lot more to prove and uh, I think he might be able to pull this one out basketball players do really really well with women we know this and I think that's what Sparks has going for him he's an athlete he's a man he stands out in a crowd whereas Rita Arrego that's just a persona 
And you know what? When he gets out in the field and gets exposed by a woman, we'll see that he's just PG. All right, we got Sparks, we got Rated R Rago. Sheldon, what's the next game? We're giving both guys sabotage. Oh. All right, guys, and whoever wins this round is going to go against Anthony in the final and deciding round. So let's check it out. In this round, each player must seduce a woman while his opponents sent in to drop a game destroying remark. Don't tell me. Yeah, I'm like, don't tell me you're already saying, oh my God, is he going to come talk to me? No, no, I didn't say that. Justin? Natasha. Nice Natasha, to meet you. pleasure. Do you guys live around Toronto? Over here? No, we live in Toronto. Rip, so do I. All right, guys, here comes the sabotage. Wait, what, what's going on, bud? Wow, yo. What's going on? Sorry, we had a bet. Well, I bet him 100 bucks that he couldn't come talk to some girls, and he said he'd find the easiest ones to talk to, so I just what? like. Oh. <laughs> you guys getting stomped on? The same way he got stomped on against Romeo. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what that was all about. But I got a $100 bill right now. I think we should get some drinks with this $100 bill. OK. Let's go, let's let's go get some drinks. Hey! You know oh what? God. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Why? No, I don't know. Can you're I cute. You're oh. cute. I was going to say you're cute. Oh, OK. OK. It's right. my birthday. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What do you want? Like a birthday kiss or something? There you go. Oh, there you go. There. That's it, my night's made. Okay. And, uh, but I was wondering, like, is there any way, you know, can, would I be able to give you a call sometime at all? Or? Sure, why not? Yeah, here. There we go, I got it. I got right. it on there. Well, yeah, boy. All right, guys, you know what? Ultimately, he got the results, but in my mind, he's a good looking guy with no game. This guy has no seduction skills, he has no player skills, but you know what? He's a good-looking guy, and he got a number. He got results, so Sparks has to deliver. Are we watching the same thing here, Sheldon? Because what surprised me is he came up with $100 here, too. And, <laughs> and you didn't point that out. <laughs> he got a phone that. number. <laughs> there was some attraction there, yeah. and uh, they're going to go on a date. Yeah. Like, what's not to like about this? You're, you're right about the $100 thing. He's used to having things given to him, nothing acquired. <laughs> and he didn't acquire this pickup. He oh. sat there, and he got it given to him. This is not game for all those guys who are looking for exhibitions of game. This is not game. <laughs> Guys, he came out claiming to be rated R. He's only PG-13. He's proven that to us again. He's got a date, but he's also given Mark Sparks an opportunity to handle the sabotage a little bit better. Let's check it out. I don't know. I never know, though. No, no, keep going. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm Mark. Ladies, you are? Kim. Kim. And? Rachel. Rachel doesn't want to talk to me. Uh Rachel doesn't kind of like it. What do you do? Like, what were you working on? I feel like it's a big question, but I'm, if I tell you I'm in porn, will you be upset? All right, guys, here comes the sabotage. So, sorry to interrupt you. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got the E for later on, okay? okay? So, yeah, we'll get it all tied. You got money right now? Yeah, you do, do you got? <laughs> it was the Charlie Chaplin of yeah. cock blocks. Yeah. His mouth was moving, but nobody was hearing anything. Yeah. So it's going to be two bills for tonight. Do, do you got? Okay, I got you. Cool. I got you. Oh, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> He's up 300. Yeah. We got to start again. Wait, hold on. Hey, I'm Mark. Oh, hey, Kim. 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 I don't have a pen. I have a sharpie. I know. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you too. Don't worry. Guys, you know what? That was kind of weird. On the one hand, we had a, a guy who got a result and has no game. And on the other hand, we got a guy with game who didn't get the result. Sheldon, who won? Not everything that can be counted counts. And not everything that counts can be counted. Fantastic. Spark did not get the number, yeah. but the what he did here was true seduction, true game, and a true player who deserves to be in the third round. <laughs> hey, man. I thought Sparks was paying off Rago, not you. Yeah. Like, oh, what an endorsement. Wow. Yeah, I gotta say, I think <laughs> that we maybe set that bar so high for Sparks that, you know, it, it was almost impossible for him to succeed. You know, any Jadrool can come here and beg and plead for a phone number like <laughs> Radar Art Rago did. You know, Mark Sparks came in a man and he left a man. This guy has game. I can pay my mortgage with this approach every time. <laughs> There's no question in my mind, we're gonna put the two juggernauts of game against each other. We got Anthony, we got Mark Sparks. This is gonna be a fantastic yeah. final round. Let's check it out. Coming up after the break. Like a condom, you slide it out. I don't have sex. So I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You looked upset about that. That's a good answer. 
<laughs> and later, the exciting conclusion to tonight's battle. All right, guys, this has been an unbelievable episode so far. We've come down to our last two juggernauts, Anthony Sparks. This is going to be epic. Chris, what's the last game? Yeah, in this round, they're going to be given a lollipop, a rubber band, and a crayon, and it's called the MacGyver. All right, let's check out Anthony. In round three, each player must initiate a creative pickup using a lollipop, a crayon, and a rubber band. It's MacGyver, boys. Make it happen. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Is this a birthday girl? No, she's a bachelorette. I was just gonna... I'm at a bachelor party right now. I'm playing a game. I'm playing one of those games. Okay, okay, okay. What I have to do with this elastic is put it around my leg and get someone to do a three-legged race with me. Race, you and me. Ready? And go. One, two, one, two. One, two, now back. Let's go back. Let's bring it back. Here we go. No, no, don't go back. Don't go back. One, two. This is so easy. Thank you, Justine. You're welcome. I feel privileged that you helped me out, so I'm going to give you a sucker. Okay. I have to get someone's number written on my arm in crayon. Oh. Would you be so kind? Did you see how fast she ripped that yeah. crayon out of his hand? And she <laughs> broke it. Yeah. Like, OK, let's try it out. Does that mean I'm, I'm allowed to call? Can you call her? No, Nikki's Can I borrow Nikki for like one minute? So I feel like these situations are, uh, are awkward because your friends are kind of forcing you into stuff like that, so I apologize. Um, I'm going to have to go find my phone from one of my buddies. And maybe if you want, jot down your number. You know what? <laughs> Fantastic adjustment. And I'm going to say this. Mark Sparks has got a battle on his hand because we saw some real genius there. Yeah, I mean, Anthony, he's so creative. And I mean, he's always one step ahead. Do you know what I mean? He makes a move, but he's already thinking about the next thing he's going to say or the next move he's going to make. You know, what we just saw there was probably one of the greatest displays of isolation with that rubber band trick there. You know, Anthony, he earned the name The Boy Wonder, and he did it. It was fantastic. Anthony's ability to lie and be creative. <laughs> it's right. honestly brought a tear to my eye because I can't see how Sparks can win the next round. He's going to have to do something special. And the thing is, we've realized about Mark is he doesn't lie. <laughs> so, let's take a look at him in the final round. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm Mark. Mark Miriam. Miriam? Okay, for some reason, I have a lollipop. And a prayer. The crayon and the lollipop is for what now? Okay. <laughs> wow. It's unfortunate that he's got, he's like thinking, what did these guys do to me, man? <laughs> like yeah. a crayon? Are you kidding me? I was working earlier and we went to uh, like Jack Astor's or. So you stole one of the crayons. Well, you know what? Here, hold on. This, this is like someone's gonna get mad at me. I wanna show you a magic trick. That's what a good woman does. Help see. It's like a condom, you slide it out. I don't have sex, so I don't know what you're talking about. You looked upset about that. That's a good answer. <laughs> I want you to write down a number on there and don't show me. Tie it up. Alaska it up. Alaska it up. So now, what, what do you think is going to happen at this point? You're going to guess the next one. Wrong. You win. I just want to make you an accomplice. So you use the crayon as well. So now, when they come looking for me, I say this number is eight. Ladies and gentlemen, eight. The great Mark Dini. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to say I look forward to seeing you again. Give me my number. 647. My name was? Starts with an M, ends with an Miriam. And my name was? Miriam. I said, why is she not hearing me? She just trying to be a jerk? Is that what it is? Have guys hurt you? <laughs> guys have hurt you, huh? Like they tell you that they're gonna do like great things to you and then they lie. Well, I'm not gonna tell you I'm gonna do anything great. No, nope, I'm not gonna tell you that. That way there's no lie. You're safe. We'll have fun. You know what, guys? 
Another fantastic performance from Sparks. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to judge who won this. Yeah. Sheldon, who won this final av of round? She gave him the dirty up and down look while she licked that lollipop while she was thinking, you know what? That was definitely seduction at its best right there. He was the nice guy that knew how to leave her wanting more. I'm torn though because of Anthony's equally strong game. Yeah. It, it's tough because the boy wonder lied and got a number and Mark Sparks told the truth. Yep. And he got genuine chemistry here. Given the first round and the first two rounds of both these guys, Anthony was a stronger player. Sheldon, who won tonight in your mind? You know what? Fortune favors the bold and creative and abandons the timid. Anthony was creative, he was bold, he was taking chances. He had seduction down to a T today. This breaks my heart to see Sparks, a fellow nice guy, fail to, to ask for the number for two straight rounds in a row now. Anthony, creative. One round after another, he got pickups, real connections with women. So I think Anthony's got it. It's unfortunate for Sparks because he's an urban guy in a suburban setting and he didn't calibrate his wardrobe. Anthony the Boy Wonder, on the other hand, was prepared, he was smart, he was creative, you know, he was full of moxie. For me, it's Anthony the Boy Wonder. This kid went from being a bumbling fool in his first episode <laughs> to showing the type of cerebral game that should inspire every guy at home to understand you can learn how to be successful around women. And for that reason, Anthony, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Oh, yeah! Oh, congratulations, oh, Anthony oh. the Boy Wonder. And enjoy your party vacation, your Keys Champions ring, and your VIP experience. Oh, baby! Yes! Mark. Damn.